Hello everybody, how are you doing? <clears throat> Alright, so whatever. <laughs> so hmm, last weekend was kind of yeah was kind of dramatic I guess. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get to see that Eubank uh, Williams fight, but I understand it was very, it was very, very, <laughs> very uh, eventful. Yeah, you know, you know, I just must say the Sky Sports are such massive cunts for geo blocking that fight you know because i heard i read that they didn't really watch i uh, nobody outside of uk was able to watch the undercard and, and, and the, i don't know about the main fight but uh i don't get really why they would do such a thing anyway uh Anyway, as I thought, as I had predicted, uh, Eubank won this fight but, uh, on points. Yeah, I mean, he scored four knockdowns, but that was not enough. I guess he took some time off, they tell me, in between. He scored in the uh, first, second, and fourth round, and then in the 11th. So Williams came back, you know, won a few rounds, and yeah. Pretty much the same as against Andrade or Andre, but uh, at, at, of course he was knocked down only once against Andrade, but uh, Andre. But I don't know really. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, I told you he's a guy who is good enough to give anybody a good fight, but he's not good enough to beat the, beat the best, of course. That's simple. Just the way it is. And now Eugen Jr. He said he wants to fight Triple G. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know if there is any point in that. Triple G is obviously not the, the fighter that he used to be. So, of course, it, it, the only point I can see is to get another, a, a big name on his record, you know, among his conquests. For Eubank, because he would be the favorite, I guess, in the fight, yeah. He would be, unfortunately, I must say. So, anyway, uh, that was that. Uh, Key Thurman, he beat, of course, <laughs> of course, Mario Barrios. And I did see that fight, actually. I did see, uh, not while, when it was going on live, but uh, the day after. And yeah, I don't know, he was pretty dominant, yeah, even though, I don't know, maybe the scorecards were slightly too wide, but anyway, 118, 110 twice, 117, 111, yeah, Mario, well, just another, you know, I would call him a sparring partner more than a really uh an equal opponent but uh, still a very good sparring partner yeah <laughs> and Thurman has finally returned and uh bounced back from that loss his alone loss so far of course to Pacquiao which was a split decision but still I think there is no doubt that he deserved to lose that fight his main problem is, uh, will always be his ego, I guess. But he looked, for what it's worth, he looked very ripped, <laughs> very strong in the fight, and he did a very good job of uh, outboxing Mar Barrios and outworking him as well. He had a few moments, I think in round eight, he caught Barrios with some good, with a good combination. Other than that, he didn't really look close to stopping him, so, yeah. And, yeah, so, 
I don't know, we'll see now. This is of course his first fight since that one layoff tournament. How he will perform in his next fight, yeah, but time is not exactly on his side anymore. And this year he will turn 34 in November, so that may work against him. But he, I guess he still has a couple of years before he's, you know, at least before he is considered washed up, yeah. Um, yeah, Carlos Cuadras, he lost, actually, <laughs> to Jesse Rodriguez, Franco, on points, and also he was down once. But yeah, no, I didn't really expect Franco to win, but I thought that this might happen, because Cuadras has been through so many wars now. He is getting his shop work, obviously, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, and uh, that was the recap of last weekend. Now, this next weekend, there is one fight that I will talk about now, and that is uh, Daniel Jacobs versus John Ryder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Danny Jacobs, you know, I always liked him as a fighter, you know, he's a pretty, uh, much an all-around fighter, you know, he can box and punch, and pretty fast athletic guy, you know, yeah, pretty good defense, you know, and John Ryder is just one heck of a <laughs> tough guy, the gorilla, he's a short, rather short super middleweight, so, uh, there is four inches height advantage for Jacobs, but I mean uh, Ryder has been really quite good uh, lately in the last three or, three or so three or four years. He knocked uh, out knocked out Patrick Nielsen of Denmark in five rounds. That was pretty impressive. Also, he knocked out Jamie Cox in two. And Andre Sirotkin stopped in seven. And then, of course, he gave Callum Smith a very tough fight, which was a rather big surprise, I mean, to me. So it seems he does well against tall, tall fighters, so rather. Yeah. But here against a guy like Danny Jacobs, well. <laughs> well, Danny Jacobs, he had to fight hard in his last fight, and he hasn't, hasn't had a fight for a year, you know, so. And uh, when he fought Rosado, it was a split decision victory, so yeah. I guess that may be a sign that he's now starting you know, to slip a bit, maybe, but let's see just how old he is, doesn't. He's 35, actually, wow, hmm, See, yeah, that might be, you know, a problem for him, and, uh, he, he has been knocked out also once by, uh, Dmitry Piro, that was very long ago, like 2010, but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, really, this fight is also in England, so that might be a problem. Uh, I still think Jacobs is just a too good uh, of a boxer to be defeated by a rider, unless he should get kind of lucky and catch uh, Jacobs with a big punch, you know. I mean, that way I can see a rider winning. But yeah, uh, who knows, I mean, if Jacobs shows up and doesn't really perform that well, doesn't He's not in his best shape, and Ryder kind of bullies him, and he can get to the decision, of course, if he manages to outwork also. Jacobs doesn't have to knock him out, you know what I mean. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, really. this one is a, a tricky one. <laughs> yeah, this fight can really, has a big chance of going either way, you know. Either that Jacobs wins 
on points very likely or yeah i don't know if a rider hasn't has even stopped before once only by who oh yeah nick blackwell that was 2015 <laughs> probably some sort of an injury so uh yeah <laughs> As I said, both guys can win. And uh, the judges, of course, in England also sometimes tend to be on their, their own fighter's side. So that's also gonna, not going to work in Jacob's favor, you know. So I don't know really. But anyway, uh, <laughs> if Jacobs is still the guy that he, you know, if he's still, if he hasn't aged now, in last year or so and then he should be able to win this fight but uh, there's a big question mark around that and uh, Ryder we know how good he can be and uh, how much trouble he gave Callum Smith who is even taller than Jacobs of course um, but slightly less athletic I must say than Jacobs yeah Definitely. So this will be probably uh, one of those decisions like split or majority decision also. But uh, yeah, or who knows, maybe even a draw. But anyway, yeah, I think Jacobs may, may win this fight. Because he still is the better fighter than Ryder. But it will be a tough one, definitely, I mean, for Jacobs, yeah. I do expect that. All right, so that be all for this time. And uh, yeah, see you until my next video. Bye bye.